Good day everyone. Here's to life. Today is a pretty eventful day. A few things to do with my family. Also, got a surprise for myself and you. It's going to be a It's going to be a day of enlightenment. A day we learn a little bit. Uh we actually get to see some of the city. Uh I'm going to go a few places that are iconic and um we get to see some stuff. First, it's still cold in Georgia. So I need to put some pants on. I have on shorts with ashy legs. So yeah, I got my pants out of the trunk because I went to a party last week and just never got them back out. So let me go in my garage. Ready to go. Alright, back in the car. Heading out on this very beautiful day. And today feels a lot better than I did yesterday. Yesterday was Friday. As you get closer to the end of the week, you start to feel like you're wearing thin a little bit. But I actually found time yesterday to do a ton of things that um, that I like to do, especially when it comes to like editing videos, um, creating content, and also meditation, which I'm uh, really beginning to enjoy. I have actually 20 uninterrupted minutes of meditation, which doesn't seem like a lot, but with all that I have going on, it really, really helps. And one thing that we have to appreciate, and why I think a lot of people who operate on hectic schedules like myself, meditation is underutilized in a lot of ways. All meditation really is, is accessing a certain part of your brain that you're privy to only when you're uninterrupted and when you're allowed to explore your own mind. And when that happens, you're able to almost completely control your emotions and help your future behavior. So I highly suggest people take time out to meditate. I'm going to be doing uh, some content on just different meditation techniques, minds especially, because I don't always have the time to go to the studio and get in a seating position and all that but where how your body is positioned for meditation is very important because you want to be in a relaxed position um, some people say meditate when they're driving I find that pretty hard because you're concentrating on the road you can't concentrate on your own on yourself so you know take that for what it is but anyway Today, um, we're going to downtown Atlanta. Uh, I used to live there, I don't anymore, just because they are fools. If you think I'm going to pay $1,600 for an 800 square foot uh, one bedroom, so we're in the suburbs now. It's more family friendly, but we still operate for the most part in downtown Atlanta.
don't know if uh, me driving and you saw the sign and it gave it away. But like I said, like I said, today is a special day for me. I'm gonna uh, get in touch with my artistic side a little bit. But I actually, uh, I'm actually a frequent visitor and a contributor to the Hot Museum of Art here in Atlanta. And they actually have a special exhibit for this month, which this will be my second time going in. And hopefully I can take you guys in with me. Truth be told, no cap, I do not have special access to this. But if they allow me, I will film. Look at that. Look. Hang on, wait. Right there. That's right. It's a Virgil Abloh exhibit. What's the name of it? Figures of Speech. It's what it's coined as. Um, highly anticipated. It was nice. I went yesterday, actually, and it was really nice. Uh, it basically displayed his bodies of work very well. And I'm going to try to bring you guys with me, so be appreciative. If you don't know a lot about uh, Virgil Abloh, then... Hello. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Because you've been living under a rock this whole time, son. He's a, a fashion designer from Illinois, just outside of Chicago. He's done a lot of work with Kanye West. And um, very talented young brother. And uh, he's done a lot with Louis, Louis Vuitton as well. He's one of their men's fashion directors or something like that. And CEO of Off-White. If uh, you're a hype beast, you know what Off-White is.
right, so I just, I'm heading back now. I just remembered, spent about an hour in the exhibit and didn't go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna do that. All right. So that's done. All right, so Virgil figures of speech, exhibit down, been there, done that. Got the insanely expensive t-shirts. But what's the use of going to the fair if you're not gonna ride the rush, you know? If you have any intentions on going, I suggest you do. It's not a huge ticket, only about um, 15 or so. 15 or so dollars for uh, admission. And you get a lot of um, background information pertaining to the artists. All right, so that's a wrap. Um, it's a very informative exhibit. If you have any attention on knowing any more information regarding Virgil, um, his history, uh, the history of off-white Pyrex, uh, Louis Vuitton creations, it's definitely a must-see. Uh, it's not a huge ticket price. Like I said, it's only about 14 bucks, but since being a member, uh, I got it in for free. Um, not really great for kids though. They have a lot of other kids events at the museum that, that are worth looking at, but this is much more of a, an adults only exhibit. So now I'm, a, um, I'm downtown, I'll be here for a little while. So I'm gonna hop on one of these scooties, yeah. go see what I can get into for a second.